Sepsis is more than an infection. It's when your body's response to infection causes damage, life-threatening damage to its own tissues and organs. Infections cause sepsis, especially infections caused by bacteria. You may be familiar with the names of some bacteria like meningococcus or group A strep or staph. Infections can happen after cuts or grazes in your skin, after viral infections, after operations, with urine infections, and in people with weakened immune systems. Or they can just occur on their own. Most infections do not lead to sepsis because your body's defences and early treatment stop them progressing. However, in some cases, the infection is more severe and your body's response to that infection causes damage. Children with sepsis are sick, really sick. What starts looking like a simple infection, like a cough or a sore throat, with your child being a bit unwell, turns into something more serious. Your child may be less alert, a lot less active or floppy when you pick them up. They may have trouble breathing, breathing quickly or looking like they're struggling to breathe. They may look really pale or mottled or grey. They may be drinking a lot less than usual or passing urine much less often. As a parent, you may feel that they look really sick. You know your child best, so trust your instinct. If you think your child's really unwell, don't delay. Go to your local emergency department straight away or call triple zero for an ambulance. If you're not so concerned, call your GP or get advice from a nurse on Health Direct on 1800 022 222. Ask us, could this be sepsis? If you saw a doctor yesterday and your child seems worse, bring them back. If your child's in hospital and you're worried that your child's getting worse, tell us. You're the expert on your child. We need to listen to you, to trust you. There are some simple things you can do to reduce the risk of sepsis. Help stop infections by cleaning and covering cuts, grazes and burns. Make sure your child's immunised. Treat bacterial infections early. Look for a sign that a wound's becoming infected, becoming red or painful or oozing. Your doctor will work out which infections need antibiotics and which ones don't. And recognise when your child's becoming more unwell. If that happens, get help straight away. Trust your instinct and tell us if you're worried your child is getting worse.